Hi, this is Robert at XI Computer. We are taking a look today at our latest edition of the PowerGo, both the XT and the 15.7. Those are powerful CAD laptop based on the latest edition of Intel Core i7. Let's uh, check the tech on those units. On the right here, we have the PowerGo XT. Uh, we've been selling this model for uh, several years and it's been an award-winning configuration and of course through the years we improved uh, this configuration quite a bit. Um, it's the heaviest of the, of the three at around uh, over eight pounds, uh, at around eight, eight and a half pounds uh, without the charger. And um, it's a nice unit. It's, um, it's got a very nice uh, touchpad with a biometric reader here um, for the fingerprinting and that's good for security. Um, highlighted a backlighted keyboard and uh, high quality sound from Onkyo and uh, XiFi 3 uh, Sound Blaster card. It does support two extra high resolution monitor besides the 17.3 screen. Um, so equipped with a, with, a, with a mouse, it can be just a competitor to a desktop workstation by all means. The standard panel is an anti-glare uh, LCD LED panel and we also provide a glaring color calibrated uh, NTSC panel for extra cost. We um, build this unit with the Intel Core i7 uh, 4900MQ um, and um, with the Quadro K3100. Uh, on the center here we have uh, the PowerGo 15.7 we call it 15.7 because this one is the 15 and we're going to take a look on the left at the 17 model. Um, it's a different chassis and um, it's a light. It's uh, around uh, 7.1 pounds. It's a 15.6 screen, only comes uh, matte. And uh, quite frankly, it, it does look not bad compared to the 17.3 um, on the right and also does support to extra external monitor. So if you want to save a little bit of space and a little bit of weight, uh, this is a nice unit. It comes standard with a Quadro K uh, 2100. So the 2100 is a little less powerful of the 3100 and of course also less expensive. And we're going to see in, uh, in a minute uh, what the difference of the two cards um, is in real world for CAD applications. Um, this unit we equip with the uh, Intel Core i7-4800MQ instead, uh, just 100 megas less, and uh, we're going to see that as well. Other features, it does have a nice uh, sound blaster uh, card and, uh, and sound. It doesn't have a biometric reader, and also it has uh, three USB on the side, like the other one, but uh, this one has a limited standard for car readers things that is not of great importance. The keyboard is backlit and can be changed in colors and um, there are several features here like airplane mode and brightness and, uh, and you know fan controls and so forth. Let's uh, take a look now at the last unit and the performance. We are looking here on the left at the 17 inch version of the PowerGo 15 less 7 and uh, having uh, the 17.3 screen and HD uh, 1920 by 1080 HD resolution like the other three monitors also does support two uh, monitors outside and having a little bigger um, real estate here we uh, sports bigger speakers and this a little button here extra and that allows to enable and disable on the fly the, the touchpad that is useful when somebody's typing and doesn't want to interact with it the other two units have a feature uh, enable and disable by software. Uh, we equipped all three units with uh, a 500 giga SSD drive from Samsung and uh, all three units support two drives so we, you, we can put a bigger drive hybrid like one terabyte or, or more or two drives even in RAID mode uh, zero or one and, um, and then this unit uh, has a Quadro K3100 and for the sake of the test, we equip still with the 4800 uh, i7, so uh, the lesser CPU, so we can see the difference in a minute about uh, the um, same video card and lower clock speed versus uh, a better video card 
and and uh, less 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 a video card and same clock speed. So let's take a look here at the test. Um, we ran the test on the um, 2012 C2012 version 5.4 Catalyst benchmark. This is an AutoCAD test. Um, as we can see, <coughs> the first one, the blue bar, the most performing one, is the Quadro K3100M with the i7-4900MQ. So it pertains to the PowerGo ST that we saw on our right. And uh, is shy of 600 uh, on the index core, 590. And the other two are trailing, uh, but not by much. Um, so 558 and 549, those are very respectful number, um, by the way. Uh, you guys, of course, can check on catalyst.com about our benchmark published and so forth. Uh, the 3D index, we can see there is a little bit of, uh, of advantage of the um, higher clock speed and also the, um, the K3100 makes a difference versus the um, K2100. 2D index is pretty flat, um, just basically um, support, give a little bit more support to the clock, clock speed. The difference in clock speed costs around a couple hundred dollars, eventually is not even that justified. We think the 4800 is probably the, the sweet spot, you know, and we sell a lot of those compared to the others. This index is pretty flat, of course, and uh, the CPU index again is kind of flat. The next test that we ran is the Maxon Corporation Cinebench version 11.5. And uh, there is actually, of course, on the OpenGL frame per second, a good advantage in the, in the video card, uh, Quadro uh, 2100 versus Quadro 3100. We are around less than 50, 59 versus 81, 83. And the, the, the CPU, again, doesn't make much of a difference, you know. So in that case, those, if you guys are doing some graphical intensive um, video production and stuff of that kind, a little better card helps. Uh, the, you know, the uh, CPU index is pretty flat, actually not even justifying much um, the higher clock CPU, as we said before. Uh, this is the test of the uh, SpecView Perf version 11. And this one, um, we have Katia and Maya, Lightwave, Pro-E, SolidWorks. Uh, the SolidWorks is very important, those units we sell a lot in the SOLIDWORKS market, and yes, they do require a Quadro card, uh, as uh, Maya and Katia, they do require that. Um, there is an advantage with a better card, and also there is an advantage in the clock speed, even though the advantage, again, on the video card for those applications is more relevant. Uh, this, I think, concludes our test for the day, and uh, we thank you very much. You guys can look at our website, excitecomputer.com, for more detail on pricing and uh, additional information. Thank you.